ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to YouTube. Uh, it is currently 6.14. I'm going to the gym. Um, I got up at 5.50. We just showed up at the gym, and uh, just because everyone hates me. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. The sun has risen. Um, right now we're loading up the truck. We got a checklist here. Let me show you our checklist, what we do every day before we go out. All right, there's 10 things. The paper got smashed up because it was raining yesterday. And well, Philip likes to smash things up. So the first thing is uh, get the batteries, make sure they're fully charged because we do have like electric handheld uh, tools. Unfortunately, one of them bit the dust. So we're gonna be using gas stuff too. Um, pull tarp off mowers, which, um, my boy over here, Joel, who, if you want to listen to his interview, that was kind of creepy. If you want to listen to his interview, uh, go check us out wherever you get your podcast, The Motivated Lawn Care Show. So you pulled off the tarp, off the mowers. Uh, it rained a little bit last night, so that was good that we had the tarp on there. Next up is top off fuel and check if more gas is needed. So he's already jumped to step number six, getting equipment out of shed and uh, getting it on the trailer. So I'll jump right in um, to with topping off the fuel. Are we good? Yep. We're rolling, baby. Filling up with gas. We're just checking the oil, and I'll do like, I'll take a video of you checking the oil because it's part of the process, guys. Uh, it was looking pretty, pretty dirty. Black, but is there oil in there? Yeah. Uh, we're about halfway down, but generally we just top that off. But I gotta go to the store and buy some more oil because we go through a lot of oil. So boom, and then I'll check it on here too. Super simple, if you don't know how to change oil, well, you're about to learn how. So that stuff is, wow, that's black already. Nice. <laughs> I just, got, like, tar, I just got, got it changed like a couple days ago. So, you know, it is what it is. If you have oil in there and you're changing it semi-regularly, you're probably gonna be fine. So I'll just dip it in here without twisting it in. in I'll pull it out and you can see, see normally we'd fill it up. But again, like I said, I gotta go buy the oil. <laughs> Dude, these guys go through oil like like literally yesterday, it was almost full. And they ran this like three or four times. <laughs> so, uh, next step on the list is just uh, checking the tires, making sure there's no uh, no leaks or anything. Right. Okay, we're recording again. I, I'll get to say it again. So, everything is loaded up on the trailer. We got batteries on the equipment. Next up is 50 push-ups, which, like I said, the strongest and also the best looking. He does all 50. Jeez. I did 25 so far. 25. Oh, oh. 50, baby. Why did you do that? Guys, what's up? I keep forgetting to film. We're at a property here. This is our second one of the day. Let me switch around the camera view. So I already started with one pass. Um, someone's going around back with the push mower because there's a couple sections necessary. There's a big hill here inside the fence. We got a guy getting started with uh, um, the weed whacker in there. And then whoever gets done first, the me or the push mower guy is gonna get started and do all like the trimming around the trees, edging the driveway. And then whoever gets done next will join him and then someone else will blow off. So um, I'll get to the videos of that. So I did bada boom, bada bing. The guy push mowed here in the back He's finishing out with the top of the hill while I was mowing this and then there's a section right over here on the other side with like a huge hill now the hill is not easy to do like that is that is that is one not fun hill to do um, I know you can't really tell but if you go up it right next to the fence you'll do a wheelie and can come flip over so yeah don't ask me how I know about that uh, this man over here the beast with the weed whacker he told me that he had improved at <coughs> Excuse me, weed whacking wide open sections. The man weed whacked this entire hill in the five minutes that I did this, all this over here. He did that. What? Next step is obviously blowing off the property. So we're gonna come up over here. I left this off the trailer so that we could get the push mower back on easily. Let me see if I can. One handed baby got it off of there. So next step is gonna be blowing.
That's how people rap. That was the record. I think it took like us 20 minutes. I don't know. There's no one around to ask. I think it was. I think it was somewhere around 20 minutes. Ryan was the hero of that property. Did you see how fast he did that area? Yeah. That was crazy. That was a zoom in. We we did that in 20 minutes. We're at the next property. Well, actually, I think we did a couple in between. Uh, we did one, two, three, four. So this is number five. Um, I think it's like 1030, 1045. Super long grass. And I don't have my tripod, so I'm gonna try and find somewhere to set this up for a time lapse, but. Yo guys, we just finished this property. How long did it take us? Like 20 minutes? Yeah, it took us about 20 minutes. Uh, this was a $35 job. Obviously, you guys saw I had to go over the, the that one strip of the lawn like three times. I probably could have gone over a fourth time to like really get it all fancied up, but um, we really don't have time to be going over people's lawns four or five times. It's 11 o'clock, we just showed up to the next property. Um, so the, the tough, part, tough part about this is, do you see this hill? You might've seen it on my Instagram. We charged 140 the first time, it was so long. Yeah, we're gonna be here for like 45 minutes. We're back boys. I think we did like 11 or 12 properties before lunch, including that one that took us about an hour because we didn't have enough fuel. So we had to go and get fuel. If we hadn't, it would have been only like a 30 minute property. Um, so we're here at what we call the mansion. It's our biggest property. So we're gonna do that real quick for you. back boys we're on our second property after lunch um yeah just doing a normal property here and then we've got one more kind of in the area and then we're going to pack up and head to another area um so this is like our our basic like this is where i had the most amount of properties is kind of this this circle this area and you saw us do a bunch of them in this specific area and then we're going to camillus so this is westvale we're going to camillus um which is about a five ten minute drive depending on what part of westvale you're in Hey guys, what's up? We're wrapping up the day here. As you can see, the sun is setting. Um, it's about six o'clock right now. We had like a couple more. I think we've done total today uh, 20. Well, obviously we had the mansion that took us about 45 minutes to an hour. Then we had that property this morning that took us 45 minutes to an hour. So today would have probably been a 26, 27 property day. Um, but instead it's like a 22, 23 property day, uh, which is what it is. Sometimes we do more than that if it's a really dense route. Uh, today was a very, a lot of drive time, but if we had more of a dense route, we can generally get up to 30 properties done. Um, I think the record's like 32 or 33 with three people. Uh, and then the record for two people is like 20, so at seven or eight, so not bad. This is the backyard of this one. I didn't finish mowing it because there's sitting water in it. You guys don't wanna do that if there's sitting water in the backyard. Um, especially at a lot of the nicer properties that we have. These are like probably our nicest ones here. Three of them just kind of in a row. We got here, one he's doing over there, and there's one right across the street. Um, the nicer properties generally, they're gonna have a lot more of like a water drainage system, and there's gonna be a lot more sitting water, so you gotta be careful about that because I have gotten mowers stuck before, and that's never fun to drive a truck in someone's backyard to pull it out. Um, yeah, so uh, we'll head back. Uh, yeah, our phone's about to die, but we'll uh, 
and which is why I didn't get as much footage as, as I wish I had this afternoon. But uh, we're gonna head back to my place here in a few. Hey guys, what's up? We are just wrapping up for the day. All the guys have left. Um, we've done most everything. We blew out the truck, all the grass out of the truck, um, everything out, the zero turns, um, the like the belts. Let me show you. <clears throat> this area down here, I do leave it open because it makes it easier for us to get to it uh, so if something happens. And to be honest with you, there's a lot more heat and friction when the covers are on there and it puts a lot more wear and tear on the belts. So as long as they're not getting rained on, uh, you know, it's better for them just to be exposed, in my opinion. But it's super easy to blow them out. Same with this. And uh, yeah, so I got the truck unhitched as well because I have to go to the gym again tomorrow morning and I'd rather not drive the whole trailer with me. Uh, I think that's about it. It's just basic stuff left in the truck. A little bit of garbage uh, from some snacks, tripod, uh, earbuds, to-do list, some extra hats and some extra trimmer line. Boo yow. And that looks like a wrap, boys. I think today we did a total of... Let me, let me check real quick because I do, I do want to make sure I get you guys like a real number for that. Believe it or not, guys, we only did about 19 or 20 properties today. However, like I said, um, we did those two properties that both took us an hour a pop. So generally, let's say that with the crew that we we're running, we could have done an extra five properties. So, I mean, it could have looked like 25 properties. So not a crazy day, but not bad for all that drive time that we did. Uh, our Camillus area, the route is definitely not as dense as it is. And every other week, um, there's a couple of every other week properties that make it a little bit more dense out there that we didn't have this week. So it's a lot of drive time. But overall, most days we're looking at 25 to 30 properties every single day. Really dense route day, easily 30 properties um, as long as the weather is nice and none of the equipment breaks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to hit the hay here soon, but I first got to grab some food and it's jump outside. We're scraping our house because we're painting it. And so I got to get out there before it gets dark. If you guys actually want to see like a day in the life of my personal life, kind of what the behind the scenes looks like, what it actually looks like at the gym, a little bit more in depth, you guys can go check out my personal Instagram. I'm probably going to be doing that video sometime within the next two or three months. I know it's a long time, but go check me out personally on Instagram at Caleb underscore T underscore Nguyen, which is spelled N-G-U-Y. E -N. And if you were wondering, you can just go to the podcast. It's got my last name everywhere. Um, so thank you guys for watching. Smash that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one, guys.